Well, it's time now for Ask the Expert. It is pumpkin season, and while many of us will carve pumpkins for Halloween, we may only eat pumpkin at Thanksgiving in pie, which means we are definitely not getting enough health benefits of pumpkin. And that's why we have registered dietitian Lori Meyer here to talk about all these wonderful things that we can do with pumpkin. So why should we eat more pumpkin? Well, you know, it's a really low calorie vegetable, yet it is just beaming with, with nutrients. There's mm -hmm. tons. Besides the, the carotenes, we always think of beta carotene. There's beta carotene, alpha carotene, lutein, zeaxanthine. And these are all really important for healthy eyes, healthy skin. We're finding that people who eat more pumpkin and, and these types of foods actually have less macular degeneration. They might have less cataracts, hmm. uh, better driving at night, and mm -hmm. less night, night blindness. We're also finding that it can be really healthy for the skin and even ha uh, offers some UV protection. In addition to that, there's a lot of minerals, potassium, in, for example, oh, really? more potassium yeah. in a serving of pumpkin than in a banana. Wow. And so we're going to see help with heart disease and lowering blood pressure. And there's a ton of fiber. A cup of pumpkin has seven grams of fiber. That's a lot of fiber. Yeah. If you really look, I mean, an apple, big apple has got maybe three or four grams. So you're more than double that. So we're finding it might be good for diabetes, con uh, controlling weight and, and blood sugar levels. There's also some research and new research that eating pumpkin and, and the whole pumpkin family might actually be really beneficial for preventing cancer. So is that why there is a squash up here too? Is that pumpkin family? It's a family. And you know, when we talk about pumpkin, if you are eating squash, you're getting some of the same benefits. All the squashes and pumpkins, they might vary slightly in, in amounts, but they're all going to contribute similar be benefits. And you can get the same whether you eat them fresh or if you want to go the easy route and use canned, you can do that okay. as well. And so what I did today was just to, to take the canned pumpkin, because I know sometimes we don't have time to be co cooking yeah. pumpkin, just to show you all the different things that you could do with pumpkin. I mean, you can add this to just about anything. I can't believe there's pumpkin in all these things. And so what I did, I made a pumpkin soup, and this is probably the easiest soup ever. You take a can of pumpkin and some chicken stock and either some coconut milk or almond milk or mm. cream or milk and you heat it and let it reduce a little bit and then add whatever seasonings you like. So if you like five spice powder or if you like pumpkin pie spice or if you just like something more savory, you can make all different kinds of pumpkin soup and it's like it's it's going to be done literally in, in less than 15 See, minutes. See to me that would seem to be the challenge I mean, because you look at this it's like oh, I'm not going to eat pumpkin because you have but to cook you it. You've got to cook it and right. then yeah. you can use it. Yeah. Here's chili chili. You just add some yeah, pumpkin to your regular chili yep. recipe and you don't notice, but yet you're bumping up the nutrients. You get more so potassium, you get more fiber, you get more carotenes. This is spaghetti. Uh, you can add the pumpkin puree to your, to your, your marinara sauce. So is there sauce puree in the chili too? Yes. Not like yes. chunks. No, okay. I could, but you could put chunks could, in okay. also. Yeah. But I, this is put in because it's kind of sneaking it into the diet, and then people don't even know that they're getting the <laughs> yeah, benefit right. of it. Here I have guacamole, and it's a regular guacamole recipe, and then you just add some pumpkin to that, or you could add squash to Looks that like as well. It's like dessert down there. This yeah. is a yogurt pumpkin parfait, mm. and this is Greek yogurt mixed with pumpkin and your pumpkin pie spice. And if you want to use a sweetener, and then you can just uh, layer it. And then on the end, I have pumpkin pie spice oatmeal. Oh. So you just add your pumpkin and your pumpkin spi pie spices to your oatmeal, and it's actually quite, quite good. Interesting. All good stuff. If you have a question for one of our experts, email them at asktheexpert at todaystmj4.com. You can also leave a voicemail. The number is right there on your screen.